in 2006. In Vermont, the Progressive Party candidate for state attorney general says she plans to prosecute President Bush for murder if she's elected. Charlotte Dennett made the announcement alongside the famed prosecutor Vincent Bugliosi, who recently wrote the book The Prosecution of George W. Bush for Murder. Bugliosi said any state attorney general or local district attorney can bring criminal charges against Bush once he leaves office early next year. And those are some of the headlines. This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman with Juan Gonzalez. And welcome to all of our listeners and viewers around the country and around the world. It's being described as the largest government intervention in private markets since the Great Depression. The Bush administration has asked Congress to swiftly approve a massive $700 billion package to rescue the crippled financial institutions on Wall Street. But congressional Democrats have begun to draw up their conditions for the proposed bailout bill. Their terms include limits on the salaries and severance packages of executives at firms participating in the bailout. They also call for increased assistance to distressed homeowners across the country and greater congressional oversight of the Treasury Department. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi warned against giving Wall Street a $700 billion blank check. The bailout plan was drawn up by Treasury Secretary Henry Paulson and would set up a fund that uses taxpayer money to buy out the bad debt on Wall Street. The plan would also give nearly unlimited powers to the Treasury Secretary. Meanwhile, the last two major investment banks, Goldman Sachs and Morgan Stanley, have changed their status from investment banking, to, uh, from investment banks to bank holding companies. This change, approved by the Federal Reserve Sunday, allows them to create commercial banks and also gives them access to the Fed's emergency loans. Speaking on NBC's Meet the Press Sunday, Paulson admitted he was humbled by the crisis, but added Americans would, quote, work through this. Well, what I would say is I won't bet against the American people. We're an entrepreneurial people, a hardworking people, and we will work through this. We always do. I wouldn't bet against the American people, and I wouldn't bet against the long-term fundamentals of this country. But this is a humbling experience to see so much fragility in our capital markets and to ask, how do we ever get here? President Bush defended the Treasury's rescue plan Saturday, arguing it shielded, quote, average citizens from the crisis. Yeah, this is a big price tag because it's a big problem, Mike. I told our people I don't want to be timid in the face of a significant problem that will affect the average citizen. You know, some said, well, this is, we could contain this to just the financial community. Uh, in my judgment, 